Hi guys, and welcome back to Living in Patea. So uh, today, something a little bit different. This is my first time ever. Okay, I'm a virgin. But today I'm going to do an interview. Uh, it's just an excuse to eat a really good breakfast. Although it's, uh, it's just gone half to. I am actually stewed on soy lenki. Uh, some of you may, some of you may have no uh, this little place here, and this was uh, Kung's Kung's place up until about eight weeks ago, and just recently she has moved over the road directly opposite on Soylenki. She has moved over to our new place. So I'm going to show you inside because it is kind of swish. And then hopefully uh, her and her husband are going to come out and have a chat with me. Okay, let's go and have a look. The dog doesn't get to come out. <laughs> he doesn't get to come out during the afternoon. Yeah, normally. Anyway, this is, uh, this is Michael Baird. You might not know him. You might not know him. Yeah, he's famous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's us inside uh, Kung's, and this is the new the new uh, restaurant, and uh, it's like a cafe inside. It's actually got a real British feel. And who, who I have sat next to me is Kung. I'm sure many of you know her already. Uh, you, this place is so popular at breakfast time. So Kung, thank you for allowing me to come in and meet you, and be the first person that I interview. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. So, tell, go and tell me a little bit about your history. Like where where did you start with it? Because you're you're famous for sausages, yes. Yep. So where did you start with your sausages? Um, be before I uh in a Bangkok with my family. Yeah. Okay. I make some Isan food, sausage or uh, something Isan, yeah. And I come here and uh, I have idea and uh, start make sausage still on soy bok house, some more shop first. Okay. First one and about. One year later, I gonna come soy lenki because I want more see people to sit can eat and drink. Okay, so was it mainly at night time? You said yeah, yeah, all night time. Yeah, night time. Uh, so what time did you close normally? Normally, uh, before uh, I called about same time, but before, okay, so like yeah. two, three, two or three. Okay, so late night every night. Yeah. Okay, so what time were you having to work in the morning for? Because it doesn't prepare itself, <laughs> you know. People only see when you sell the sausage, yeah. but there's a big process before, yes. Yeah, process before I, I uh, about four or five o'clock, okay. and two, two or three o'clock morning and time bar finish, yeah. Yeah. And now, now we pan, we it open eight o'clock, okay. finish nine o'clock night time. Right. Okay. Yeah. So a different, different kind of. Yeah. Your, your customers are different people at different time. Yeah. You catch them before they go out. Yeah. And also early morning when they wake up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know, I, I mean, I, I follow a lot of the food groups in town and I, and I, I know there's a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of people, they all, they all say how great it is. And I sent a few friends down the day before yesterday and they said, oh, breakfast oh, is yeah. fantastic. They like it so much. But you've started to stretch a little bit you do different things now yeah i do different uh now have any seven or ten sausage now okay and we have afternoon uh stop and bun and uh, meal something like that okay people the, enjoy because i know i've like kung's does a very good coffee and cake in the afternoon is that promotion yeah. still on yes yeah yeah from what time uh afternoon from about uh 12. 12 o'clock. Okay, so 99 baht, you get a coffee and a cake from the lovely cake counter over there. Okay, so you know, there's, there's some good choices for you to have. So, breakfast, okay, typically a breakfast is like 12 o'clock, maybe 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But after 2 o'clock, not many people want breakfast, yeah? Yeah, uh, now, uh, before when I start open new now, mm -hmm. yeah? Before I I finish twelve o'clock for for big fat yeah have, have tea after afternoon yeah. twelve o'clock no have no have tea or coffee inside but yeah. still big fat yeah but uh, have something happen 
and on a Facebook or something. I have I... to share time. More time for people can get in cold tea or coffee. Okay, so what time is it now? Uh, now about tea or hot oh, afternoon. Really? Okay, so what Kung's alluding to there is used to be if you came for a breakfast, an early breakfast, up until 12.30, it included your tea or coffee. And that was to encourage people to come early in the morning, you know, get the place busy. Then there was a little bit of kickback. There's trolls and, you know, my channel on the Facebook here, it's it's non-stop. So she felt, right, let's, let's keep the tea and coffee going a little bit longer, yes? Yeah. Okay. But, but you don't want to just sell breakfast, do you? You do other things. Yeah, I do other things. Uh, same I say uh, before, I say I uh, sell some Philly steak, full whole sandwich, or uh, meal and sausage and mat or something, okay. and a bean pie. Now, I can tell you, one of my favorites <laughs> here, right, was, uh, it was like macaro macaroni with uh, pulled pork on top. Yeah. You still do? Uh, now we're not, in the future we are. I, I saw, I looked yeah. on the menu the other day and I didn't yeah. see it and I thought, yeah. Oh, must have stopped, but it, it wasn't healthy, so I was quite happy that she pulled it off the menu because the temptation was just a little bit too great. I think you like a pig mac macaroni and cheese. Mm, for pork, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Normally I come in with a friend and we, we've had breakfast, but we come in for like a seven inch or a ten inch sausage yeah, with yeah. onion. So it's a good, it's a good selection. So what, what's your apart from breakfast? What is your your big seller just now? What things sell the most? Now uh, we sell now Philly cheesesteak. Okay. Yeah, after breakfast and Philly and chicken, some chicken and about uh, run time we have uh, do like a breakfast but not but do a fin fry. Okay. Fin fry just, egg. Just try and make it a little yeah. bit different. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'll probably try one of these uh, Philly cheesesteaks. They sound nice. It's a thing I've never tried. So. <coughs> You originally moved, you moved to the, the shop over there. Yes. It's still yours? Yeah, I used, uh, I gonna open night time over there, some more shop. Oh, okay. Yeah. It so look like a snack, fin fry, or some small hot dog and a drink. Okay. Yeah, and night time, uh, about the same time, bar, coat and open. Okay, so different hours from here. Yeah. More an evening, evening place. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, what about you here at night then? And about here, I plan in the future. Mm. I gonna make like a buffet, Thai food or papaya salad or something okay. like that. So pulling the Thai, the yeah. Thai customers as well. Yes. No, I, th I think that's. Uh, yeah. Well, I think I know it's smart, but you know when I'm when I go out with my wife, she's yeah. always like, "Do they serve Thai food?" And I say, oh, "I'll check the menu and I'll let you know." So. Yeah. So that's good that you you know you try to pull in all the different people. It, it's yeah. a busy area. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Because. Uh, some uh, customer come with Thai lady, yeah, they can shoot. Yeah, they can like choose what make. they like. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone's happy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's important. And so so why why did you move from there to here? Why? We home, we, we busy over there. Not enough yeah. space. <laughs> we, yeah, we busy over there, but not have a uh, table or okay. chair enough yeah. for customer. Yeah. I try look and come here. And we have, we now, need to when I spoke to your husband the yeah. other week, he mentioned your original plan here yeah. was not to put in a kitchen. Yeah. It was only for seat, yeah? Yeah. And you were going to move your cart from Lenky yeah, yeah. to here yeah. and serve the customer and then take your cart back to Lenky at night. Yeah. Yeah. But it just got bigger and bigger, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's good because I talked before I came in. Oh, you you weren't you didn't see, but you know before I came in, I, I was saying to people, soy lenky. It's not been easy for soy lenky. Yeah. Uh, you know the the traffic's there. Yeah. But it, it stops and nobody really comes into soy lenky. And I know yeah. a lot of businesses have struggled, and I think yours is the only business that has expanded during the worst time. And, and truly, if you can expand when it's the worst, when it's the best, you're going to need a bigger yeah. place, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> In the future. In the future, oh, yeah. Okay. All right, is there anything else you want to tell me about, you know, your plans? Your plan? Like um, everything? No, everything, uh, now, now, we Japan open, own shop, yeah. Okay. 
Pots and Egg Bar or Burger or something. So is this yeah. when when more customers come back? Yeah. 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 Maybe soon. <laughs> yeah. Maybe <laughs> well, soon. Well, day, day five testing's yeah. gone. Uh, today they've they've agreed uh, a travel bubble with India. Yeah, yeah. That's all agreed. So. You know, it, it, they are making it a bit easier for people to come. Um, it's a difficult time in the world for many different things, you yeah, know, yeah. lots of reasons, not just the pandemic, but also mm -hmm. what's happening in uh, Ukraine and Russia. It's affecting everything. So uh, I'm sure it will do very well. So maybe, uh, maybe I can order some food. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll go for that Philly cheese okay. steak, right? Okay. And listen, thank you very much once again for letting me come in and talk with you. It's, yeah, you're it's been really that. nice to meet you properly. Okay. Me too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my, uh, here's my lunch coming. I say lunch. It was meant to be breakfast, but oh my goodness. Wow. So this is a uh, Philly cheese steak. Philly, Philly cheese steak, right? I'm going to have to do double the miles on my bike tonight to get rid of this. And homemade coleslaw, eh? Enjoy, huh? Okay, thank you so much. Well, what I'll do is I'll put the price up at the side. I'll put all the whole menu up there so you can have a look at everything. It, the menu is as of today, so it's like 2nd of March. So don't come in here in October and say this is five baht more, okay? This is the price when I made the video. So uh, let's see how I get on with this. So here we go, let's try. Mm. That is excellent. Lots of onions, lots of cheese, lots of taste. Perfect. So, if you've missed breakfast, mm, you've missed breakfast and looking for something, uh, I'm not going to say healthy, but something substantial, something to soak up all the beer. This definitely ticks a few of the boxes. All right, we'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks for joining us on the channel, and uh, see you next time when we're living in Patea. Bye-bye for now.